25 year extended shelf life freeze dried food. Is this something that you should even consider buying? Should you get it? Should you not get it? If you do get it, what kind of things should you be looking for? What sort of ingredients and that is you know pouch size how you make it what kind of meals are in here what should you do in this crazy world right goose pond hideout with rob i want to be a voice for your freedom so I got this bucket here of freeze-dried 25-year shelf life food for emergency situations and I started thinking I bought it about six months ago just to have on the shelf just you know just this one bucket and then I started thinking about you know sharing my thoughts about why you should get this or not get this and the things that you should look for in food. So freeze-dried is exactly what that sounds like. They freeze the food and then they pull out all the moisture. So it's, it's really light and has an extremely long shelf life and they put it in those you know, special like Mylar bags. And it's been around for a long time. I mean, way back in when I was a young teenager in the 1970s and we went hiking and backpacking, freeze-dried food was real popular to take with you because you, you carried it in little bags, super light, doesn't spoil, all you do is add water to it, and it, it's ready to go. And gee, I spent a good part of one summer up on Isle Royale, up in, in the Great Lakes up there, if you've heard of Isle Royale, real primitive island, especially way back then in the 70s and early 80s and that. But I did a lot of backpacking and hiking and we carried a lot of freeze-dried food. As opposed to, you may be familiar with dehydrated food where you actually warm the food up and, and cook it. So that's the big difference. Dehydrated is heated up and the moisture is evaporated out. And freeze-dried is you freeze it solid and then evaporate out the moisture, sublime it out, whatever is the proper term there. But so, you know, should you get a, a bucket of this type of food or not? And the things that you want to be thinking about are, you know, why, what, under what circumstance would you use it? So my opinion, it's a good idea to have, you know, about a week's worth of food for you, your family, however many you have. We just have this one bucket. And again, it's light. This bucket weighs about seven and a half pounds got a little so it's a, like a to-go bucket if you had to leave like suppose you lived on the Gulf Coast with hurricanes and you've got to evacuate you can just grab this bucket and run you know that type of thing and I don't think you can consider it food like you're not going to eat this stuff for a year this cost me I bought it on you know the big online store there our favorite online store and I paid just over, I got it on sale, I think it was like $104 or something like that. Retail's probably for like $150 now. But, um, but six months ago, I paid, yeah, I think $104. And it has, quote, 60 meals in it. And the thing about this uh, Ready Way, Ready Wise, Ready Wise, is, and this is the kind of thing that you need to be thinking about with what was going to work for you, is there's 60 meals in here, but there's basically 10 pouches and each pouch has six servings in it. So when you take out the pouch of lasagna and you tear it open, it's, there's six servings in there. And you need to have cookware, you've got to have a pot, you know, to heat up your water and put the powder into it and, in, you know, what's in the pouch and stir it up and then you've got to serve it. So in that regard, like you'd never want to take this camping with you because you don't want to open six servings at once. You don't want to have to cook it in a pot. And that's where there are other brands of, of freeze-dried foods that are single serving pouches. And you, you tear open the pouch, you pour the hot water into the pouch, you seal it up and you, you know, like you mix it up, you let it sit for however many minutes 
and then you open the pouch and you eat it right out of the pouch and then you just throw the pouch away. So that's that type of thing is real handy if you're you know you're you've bugged out and you're on the go like when you're camping or something like that. One or two servings per bag, you eat right out of the bag and you just throw the bag away. Again, with, with this brand, you've got to pour six servings all at once. I guess you could half it out or something like that and put the rest in a Ziploc or something. But, but in that regard, it's not too, too handy. So those are the things that you want to be thinking about are what type of freeze-dried food is going to be in your situation for your family, the cost of it. But the, one of the main things, the points that I wanted to get my thinking for you in your, your quest for, for freedom and being self-sufficient and if things go bad, is that you're not going to eat this stuff forever. One, I mean, you can't buy... 10 years worth of, of food so you know it cost you thousands of dollars and then where would you put it all so you know to me this is more of a short term like if something really happens like hurricane tornado flood power outage you know something where you need food to eat for you know maybe a week till you get yourself settled into a routine where you can you know, get to where you want to go if you've got a, a quote bug out location. We're planning to stay, you know, right here on the homestead. But if you're in a city and you want to grab your bucket of food and, and head to your rural property out in the country, like we talked about a couple videos ago with the five acre, you know, rural property, that type of thing, is, you know, think about what kind of food. Can you have a pouch of six servings? Do you need single serving pouches? Do you want to be able to mix it up right in the pouch? Is cooking it in a pot and a pan and having dishes to wash going to be okay with you? That type of thing. So let me know what you think. I want to hear your opinion. Share it with me and maybe we'll talk about it some more. But uh, one funny thing that I was thinking about that I didn't mention is this is the exact same container that kitty litter comes in. <laughs> You grab this little button here and you pull the strap off and the, the top opens up and it is. It's just like good old kitty litter <laughs> that we have for our, for our cats when they're in the house. So again, let me know what you think.